Hello and welcome back everybody to another Tin Shadow video. Today is lesson eight in the FS Academy Jetliner series and we're gonna learn about engine failure. Should be fun, so let's get in there. Welcome to Lisbon. We're going to look at how to handle an engine failure at takeoff and ifarto. A lot will happen over a short period of time, so let's run through the actions. When an engine fails, the thrust from the remaining engine will make the aeroplane want to roll and yaw towards the side of the dead engine. This means that if the left engine fails, the plane will yaw and roll to the left. Once an engine failure has been detected, your job is to smoothly add a small amount of rudder to stop this yaw and roll. Too much rudder will cause yaw and roll to the other direction, which is also undesirable. Once you have enough rudder input, hold the rudder there and avoid making any big changes. Whilst this is going on, accurately set a pitch attitude of 12 and a half degrees and keep it there. That's the first small pitch index line above the 10 degree mark. Okay. Keep on climbing like this until we reach our engine out acceleration altitude of 1,500 feet, at which point lower the nose and maintain zero vertical speed. Flying level allows us to accelerate and retract the flaps once we're above S speed. Then we resume the climb to 4,000 feet and set MCT thrust. I'll prompt as needed. We're looking to maintain our current runway heading as much as possible, wings level and just the right amount of rudder. Jetliner 665 cleared for takeoff, runway 21, wind calm. Clear for takeoff from way 21, jetliner 665. Release the parking brake and we'll give it a try. Perform right. the takeoff with toga thrust. All right, we'll do. I just uh, put our heading mode on since uh, he wants us to maintain runway heading. So, all right, parking brake is released and we'll go toga. Thrust is set. Board pressure on the stick. One hundred knots. Check. B one rotate. Rotate. Engine failure. Stop the yaw with right rudder. Now hold the rudder in and set 12 and a half degrees pitch. Okay, got the pitch, got the rudder. Positive climb, gear up. Okay, gear going up. Pay attention to my speed because we're close to that stall tape. Don't want to get too far off our runway heading, which is kind of turns okay, a little now bit. Okay, lower the nose and fly level, vertical speed zero. Okay. Lowering the nose, getting back on course. Okay. Fighting it just a little bit. There's our S. Still flying level, retract the flaps to zero. Right, flaps, flaps going up. Now maintain green dot and climb to 4,000 feet, setting MCT power. Okay. Let me get back down to green dot speed. It's 1,700, 18, 2,000 vertical speed. Come on, get down. There we go. It's going down now. Trying to maintain runway heading still. All right, green dot. So we'll go ahead and push it down just a little bit. 
It's under 10 degrees. See how that works. Nope, 10 degrees is too much, or not enough, I mean. Okay. Right, that looks all right. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Jetliner 665, engine failure. Proceeding straight ahead, 4,000 feet. Jetliner 665, Roger Mayday, standing by. Great job. Maintain 4,000 feet and accelerate to 250 knots. Okay, turn on the auto... Eh, better not turn on the autopilot. We'll head up to 250 on the speed. Just about 100 over on the altitude, not too bad. Just about 250. Well done. It's an exercise in coordination and prioritization. You did great. All right. 